SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I caught this upgrade ongoing. It's happening at my work site. Super excited about it. Let me tell you who it is, what they're doing, and all the details on the upgrade. And of course, use this opportunity to learn. I know a lot of people email me and share pictures with me and ask me, hey, you know, what carrier is this? What are they doing? What are the upgrades? What are the frequencies? This is an opportunity to learn. All right, I'm going to show you guys the, the antennas. The radios, how things are set up, what these upgrades typically look like, how long they take, all that information in this video commentary. All right, link will be in the description for the Real SMT Buy Me a Coffee link. If you like the video content, appreciate the channel, you want to support your creators directly, that's one way you could do it. Also, if you're looking for a really good deal on your wireless service, you can get it from our wireless partner, Mint Mobile. The link in the description will unlock savings. They just increased the allotments of all their data plans. Didn't even touch pricing. So with that great value and their legendary customer care, they really are a great option for the SMT Nation. Use the partner link in the description. Save money, and you'll be helping out the channel in the process. All right, so I, anytime I see a cell tower site, I always look around. <laughs> I snoop around, and if the crew, you know, is able to be approached, you know, if I see someone near the truck or at the bottom of the site, and, and they'll usually kind of tell me, you know, give me the scoop and tell me what's going on. All right, so the, the upgrade is happening at the lower rack right above the lights here at the stadium at my work site. All right, the top, I, I think, I, I don't know for sure, I think it's some old Sprint slash T-Mobile gear. I, I don't know for a fact because Ryzen's on the other pole, and, you know, I think Sprint used to have more gear on the site, uh, but they, they just took down the radios and some of the antennas, but they left some up too. I don't know if that means that they might eventually want to come back to it and, you know, it's a placeholder or whatever, but I, I have no idea. Anyways, the action is at the bottom. It's AT&T. All right. And this site was upgraded, I'd say, probably around 2018 or 2019 uh, when they did the Band 14 upgrade. And what they were doing they when they did that upgrade, they added, obviously, the new radios for Band 14, the first net contract. They also upgraded with, like, you know, some of the other stuff. I think, you know, the, the Band 30 piece as well as, you know, the upgrades or modernizations for PCS Band 2, AWS Band 66, and, you know, Band 12 and stuff. So they, they, they upgrade the radios, they upgrade antennas. You know, you see this larger one here. Uh, previously, that one wasn't on there. All right, so that's being added. These other ones, I, I think they're going to leave them. They typically do, but what they do is they upgrade radios for those antennas. So let me show you guys some other stuff here. Uh, we can get a little bit closer on the zoom You'll see they're putting in this larger antenna panel. That thing's going to be for all of the low band. All right, so if you don't know, you know, AT&T's got a huge swath of different frequencies. Their low band is band 14 through first net. They got 10 by 10 uh, bandwidth, 10 megahertz. Uh, they've got band 12, which they've had forever. Uh, and I, I don't know. I think that depends on your region, maybe. Typically 10 or 15 megahertz, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, and then they've got band 29, which is, uh, I think, just supplemental downlink. I don't think that, that they have uplink capacity there. So they got low band, all right? And that's what that antenna is for. I'm not sure if that antenna does anything else relative to, like, AWS or PCS. I think that's these two antennas. So you see um, the one all the way on the left on this sector, and then you see one to the right of that larger antenna that I just showed you guys about. I think those are your AWS and PCS antennas. And then sandwiched in the middle between the new uh, low band antenna, and then on the far right and left, you'll see the, the AWS and PCS antennas. Sandwiched right in between here, you'll see a smaller square at the top and a smaller square at the bottom. Those are integrated radio antenna combinations. The top one is for C-band 3700 frequency. The bottom one is for uh, DOD the 3450 frequency. So those are the three gigahertz frequencies. That's really what this upgrade is all about. So they modernize with all the other radios and antennas too, but really that's what they came to the site for. They came to add those two antennas and radios. And I've shown this before, right? I've, I've shown upgrades very specifically, very close pictures of what they look like. This is Nokia radio gear, all right? That's what AT&T uses in my market. And they they if you look at the sector that I'm highlighting here on the left it's basically got all the gear up it's anchored it's not wired but it's anchored all right and now they're working on the 
the other sector to the right of it. I think the one behind it is partially done. Uh, that one's actually facing the lake, where it's kind of pointing sort of towards the lake, kind of diagonal. Uh, this one's pointing towards the school. This one's pointing towards some neighborhoods. So there, there you have it. They, they're, they're cooking with gas. Now I'm going to show you guys a little bit closer, give you a better view of what's going on here. The tower crew is up there on the platform. Guys, they had hell with this site. I, had, I, I asked them, how's the upgrade going? Because it's been weeks. It's been two or three weeks, and they haven't been able to finish the job. Some of the things they shared with me was they had a lot of obstacles. They had a lot of troubles. Uh, the one thing is, is being at a school, they were only able to work until 3 p.m. So typically, with now with having more sunlight, they've been able to work until, you know, 5, 6 o'clock if they had to. I remember crews working at night, you know, so that's really up to them. But they, they have to leave the job site at 3 p.m. And that's because school lets out. And because this is happening at the stadium, you got a lot of track athletes, student athletes, and, you know, people training at the stadium. So they basically have to just pick up all their stuff and go. And, of course, he shared that there have been a lot of nosy kids. You know, when they see caution tape, they just automatically want to just go into the caution tape and start snooping around. So they've been dealing with that. Uh, also, with respect to this platform, they had to reach out to Crown Castle and let them know that the platform was unstable. So some type of uh, integrity issue. Maybe there was some stuff that had loosened up or started to fail due to weather or just age or pr whatever, flaw in installation. So Crown Castle had to come in, send a repair crew uh, to fix the issue. And, you know, that, that was another obstacle. Uh, but... You know, for the most part, I think now they're pretty much cooking with gas. They, they should be out of there pretty soon. Here's a nice view of the sector that is complete with the installation of and the anchoring of the hardware. So here are the AWS and PCS antennas in the far left and the far right. Here is the low band antenna, the really big, fat, chunky one. And then in the middle, these two smaller ones. Here at the top is the C-band 3700. Here at the bottom is the DoD 3450. Uh, AT&T has 80 megahertz of C-band. They've got 40 megahertz of DoD. When this site goes live, I'm anticipating probably near site something like 600 megabits per second on the downlink. Hopefully the uplink gives us some action. Uh, I'd like to see it closer to like 50 megabits per second. That's typically what we see. I'm looking for those things to improve. Typically upgraded T-Mobile and Verizon sites when they get all modernized. The uplink peaks over 100 megabits. I don't know why, but AT&T hasn't been able to really do that consistently. Uh, so we'll see if that improves over time. Uh, but this is what you're looking for, folks. This is why I took the time to make this video, show you guys pictures. You know, that this is, and you can see all the chunky radios all over the place back here. You'll see a radio back here that's for the, uh, and I don't remember, I, I remember asking someone once, but it's either AWS or PCS back here, or both, I don't even know. But the, I think it's this one. This is how they're split, the far left and the far right. They're going to leave those antennas up. They're perfectly fine. They'll upgrade the radios, I think. And then uh, all the low band stuff here. They've got three low band frequencies. And then here's two new additional 3 gigahertz mid band frequencies. No CBRS for AT&T. They don't use it. I've never seen them do it. Uh, T-Mobile, I guess, does it in some places, but Verizon really, you know, big when it comes to CBRS. No millimeter wave here. They definitely have 10 gig circuits here. Uh, AT&T does their own fiber. They are the ILEC in this area, right? So they, they actually, and they build fiber to the premises. So what you're going to see here for AT&T is why they like to upgrade these types of sites is because they have a lot of customers here. This is a very affluent community, right? Uh, this is a community that likes AT&T service, has them for U-verse fiber. And, you know, it's it, it makes sense for AT&T to upgrade their wireless network to make the experience good and, you know, get people on both of those services. Most sites in this area, I'd say about 70% or 80% of the area has been upgraded for AT&T's 5G+. I would say on my commute, I'm probably pre uh, connected for 90% of the time on 5G+, which is great. But... AT&T really upgrading the area pretty good, and I, I would say be on the lookout for things to come your way, good upgrades from AT&T. I've noticed that last year and this year, they become very active in the springtime. Be on the lookout for AT&T. They're cooking. Uh, tell me what you guys think of these upgrades. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. And let me know if you learned something today and you're glad to get this type of content. Appreciate it. See you all in the next one.
Peace.